Hi everyone, this is how I made the Wicked Witch's hat. To start off, I measured out how big I wanted the brim to be. I used my measuring tape to measure out how many inches, held my finger on the middle point, then drew out the quarter of the circle. The paper was folded twice. I used the same measurements as the original hat, and I'll link where I found it below. I did the same thing with the circle on the inside, except this time I measured out points and then connected the dots. And then I cut out those two circles. As for the fabric, I'm using the same black rayon that I used for the costume, but underneath that I have some black felt that's going to be used as a padding layer. The rayon is very flowy and flimsy, so the felt helps plump it out and evens the rayon out a bit so it doesn't look wrinkly or flimsy on the hat. So I'm tracing around the felt pieces, then cutting them out. Next, I drafted out the pattern for the cone, matching it to the same circumference of the interior circle. The structure of the cone is buckram, and I'm just cutting it out here. then cutting one in felt, then rayon. I'm marking the lines of the overlap for the stitching, then using some embroidery thread and a catch stitch to attach the sides together, because the buckram is so stiff, you can't really insert the needle through it twice in one pass. With each insert, you have to pull it all the way through. I laid the felt on the rayon pieces together, then I folded them over and stitched. Don't forget to iron your seams open. Then I put that piece over the buckram cone. Off camera I stretched it over the cone and basted it in place. I stitched around the entire circumference of the brim. But I did get worried that the wire that I was going to add later would stretch out the ran and it would degrade pretty quickly over years. So I decided to add a layer of cotton interfacing to the rayon, and then stitch along the same seam. Because the brim is a circle, you have to grade the seam down before you turn it out. First trim it to be around a fourth of an inch, uh, then make clips along the circumference. After you turn it out, it should look something like this. Next step is to base the top layer of the brim to the cone, then stitch in place. I'm now clipping down the that stitch so I can turn it to be stitched to the bottom layer of the brim. 
S similar process to the top layer, but it did take more time due to needing to stretch the fabric out just right. It's now time to thread the wire through the brim, so I'm bending the end so it doesn't catch on any of the fabric, then I'm just putting it through the opening that I left on the outside of the brim. I wanted the tension of the wire to be nice and tight to make the hat look sturdy, so I give it extra length and then clip the wire. Something unique about the Wicked Witch's hat is that it has a veil attached that hangs down the back. It's almost like a scarf for the hat. So, a while back I bought some brown silk chiffon at a really good discount with this project in mind, knowing that because it is silk, I could dye it black really easily. So we took a big pot of water and add the dye. Then add the vinegar for the fixative and then the fabric itself. After simmering it, I take it out and rinse it in clear water. And then hang it to dry. While that's drying, it's time to work on the closure of the wire. I got a wire connector and crimped it together. To close that section I left open, I carefully folded along the fabric, encasing the wire inside, and using a very small blind kind of stitch at the very edge. Here's a comparison to the brown chiffon before and after. The dye worked great. To protect the ends from fraying, I'm just using a really small amount of fray away. Looking at the pictures of the original hat, the veil appears to be simply tied in the back. So that's what I'm doing here, and taking my time to even out the gathers that it's creating. Almost done with the hat. I'm just tacking the scarf in, in a few stitches here and there to keep it in place. Lastly, I was debating on whether or not to do something with the inside since it would be unseen, but I eventually decided on creating a lining. I figured I put a lot of work into this hat to make it look really nice, so why would I leave it unfinished? I think I made the right decision. I just cut out some black gauze, it's the lightest fabric that I had, as the hat was fairly heavy, so I, didn't, I wanted to add as least possible weight to it. Stitch it in the same fashion as the other cone piece, flip it to the inside, wrong seams together, and sew it in place. Sad that my camera didn't capture anymore. And here we have the final hat in all its glory. I think it looks pretty much just like the original. What do you guys think? I like the wave the wire creates in the brim. I also bend it down the front since that's what's happening in the original. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you feel led. I'll be posting more videos of me making things in time to come.